Instagram. That's my best like game show hostess, <laughs> best Vanna White that I've got. Um, and that's because this series feels like such a game to me. I don't know. So I get, just like many of you, tons of ads on Instagram, sewing related uh, and some not, but a lot of sewing related ones. And I've always wondered, you know, do those things really work? So I started buying them and using them for the first time here on the channel and reviewing the products to see if they actually work. Um, I have a whole playlist dedicated to this. We've done two of these so far. So if you want to check up on those and see how um, that went, you can check the description box for a link to the playlist. Today, we are going to be looking at the name stamp. This is the ad that I got from the name stamp. Um, where they make it look super easy, super cute to just add a name to any fabric. So got the name stamp. Mine should say inside the hem. You can add a little like icon type thing. Um, I can't even remember which one I got. Um, and we're going to see if this works. I've got three different fabrics. I've got a 100% cotton, well, a cotton spandex, I should say. I've got a rayon spandex, and I've got a like 100% polyester, like ITY kind of slippery knit. So we're gonna test out the stamp, see how it looks. Some of them are lighter colors, some of them are darker colors. See how the stamp looks. Then I'm going to wash them. I'm gonna let them cure. And I don't know if there's any instructions on how long to do that. I was thinking maybe 24 hours. Um, let it cure overnight and then wash them and see how the ink holds up in the regular wash cycle. So let's get to it. Let's check out the name stamp. Okay, so got my name stamp. I've got three different types of knit fabrics. Um, this one's more like an ITY, 100% cotton, and this one is like a rayon blend, maybe 100% rayon. Um, okay, so here's <laughs> here's the stamp. Okay, um, why are you reading this? I'm waiting for you to unbox me. Feel free to take a photo of me and upload to your story. Don't forget to tag me. Thanks for supporting our small business. Okay, and then there's a card in here that says, we hope this package brightens your day. There's a coupon code for the next order. You guys feel free to use that. It's called thanks. Um, scan me and enter our giveaway. Okay, the box actually has lots of information, but no instructions. So I'm assuming this is pretty straightforward. It does come in this cute little case. I love things that have like a place where I can store them easily. Um, apparently I chose this. <laughs> really remember it was so long ago but I think they you can choose between cats and dogs maybe um so maybe I thought this one was the closest to honey I don't know um and then I guess this pops off oh yep okay and you can see I've got my inside the hem in there with a little crown all right let's see how this goes well that's really easy so looks beautiful on that one, nice and clean lined. Um, here it is on the rayon, a darker color too. Perfect. And then here it is on the ITY. Also great. So it's obviously not very big. I'm not entirely sure what I was expecting in terms of size. But I think this definitely would serve the purpose for my knit garments, like t-shirts and stuff where you don't really want a tag in the back. Um, you could do like a little tagless thing. I wish that they would let me do more lines. I guess what else I could do is order a different one that has, so I would have inside the hem and then I'd have another one that has like my general sizing, like large slash 16 or you know, whatever. Um, or I guess if it's knit tops, you could probably just do the alphanumeric sizing. So I could just do, you know, size large. Um, and then I, I don't, I wouldn't want to do a third one. Gosh, that's getting expensive, but I guess you could do two and then you'd like stack them up together. Cause they are pretty flat in the front. You just stack them up together and just smoosh them down at the same time. And then you'd have your name or your brand name or whatever it is. And then also, um, the sizing. The other issue is, I can't remember, I'll have to go look back at my order, but I think I put spaces in here and they took all the spaces away. So this is, if you didn't know that that said inside the hem, would you really know what that said at all? 
Um, so maybe you need to come up with a, a word that's just one word. Even if I did my LJ, which is like my initials, Lindsay Johns, um, that I have on my other labels, does LJ read like LJ if it's all schmooshed together? I don't know. So a couple of things. All right, but I'm gonna let these cure uh, overnight. I think 24 hours is plenty. And then I'm gonna throw them in the wash and we are gonna see what happens. So this is the before on the name stamp. And I'll be back tomorrow to talk to you about what happens after you wash them. All right, so it is the next day. Honey is growling at the table. And um, next day, washed and dried them as I would if they were like actual shirts or garments. And as you can see, we have a bit of a development, a sad one. Our rayon completely faded. It's right here. If you can see, um, barely, barely any left. This is what it started looking like. Um, this is our cotton knit. And you can see it faded kind of a lot. And then the star of the show is our ITY knit, which still looks pretty much brand new. So that's a little bit disappointing because I was, you know, really count wanting to count on this to help um, label my knit garments. But you know, not for nothing. This is still there. I don't know if this is, is totally set in or if after another washing, it goes away. I will continue to kind of just throw these scraps into the wash and um, probably just post something on my Instagram in a couple of weeks to give you the, the final final on it. But they did provide this little like iron on label situation where you can stamp the paper and then iron it onto your garment. So I guess push comes to shove, I could do something like that. But you know, I don't know, is it clear? Yeah, it's clear, I think. I don't know, maybe it's white. But I think I would rather just use my iron on labels from label weavers on something when the garment um, or when the ink is going to wash out of the garment. So that is our little experiment for the name stamp. <laughs>